Well, hello there. Whoa. Well, hello there, YouTube. Wanted to bring you a short little block of tea episode today on something really cool that I invented here. Well, I don't know if I invented it, but I came up with it without having seen someone else invent it. So credit to me for thinking some... I don't know. So, uh, we on our server use a modified version of the Direwolf 20 pack in Feed the Beast. And among other things, this gives us the Red Power mod, which this is entirely based off, although I'm using some... I believe these are iron... T nope, nope, these would be solid iron blocks. So, yep, this is vanilla mine... Get rid of this. This is vanilla Minecraft and uh, Red Power. And you, any mod pack that uses this, you should be able to do. So what we have here is my foldable collapsing door. And let me show you how this works. This is really cool. Uh, right down here, this is... I just have timers set up to a latch toggle here, which basically allows me to pick which timer is running. Right now, you see it's on the open, so all of these frame motors are running. But if I flip this, it'll stop that one and start playing the close one, which you'll see I've got a bunch of 2 by whatever sections here. And it just uh, pulls them up in turn and slides them back into place. Which is really cool to watch. So then from the top, if I could get up there, we now have a closed off door. Now you can see at the moment these are all just bare frames right here with uh, covers on them. So I could put more blocks on there and it would just take more room to store them. It wouldn't be a problem. But then we'll go back to the opening animation. which is going to pull them all right back down again. And you don't have to bother doing any special things with timing because the frame motors simply won't move if there's a block blocking them, so it automatically times itself. So the next one won't start being able to move up until the first one gets the F out of its way. And there you have it. They just all slide along into place when it hits the end. Well, and actually, there's no more frame motors beyond that point, so that one can't move any further. But on this side, it starts with one frame motor being able to pull it back. Very simple wiring. Uh, these are all hooked up to Blutricity. And you don't need this many solar panels, I would assume, or a dancing cow. I just put that many there to ensure that I had as much power as I needed for testing. So that's about it. Uh, if I wanted to add another series of panels into the system, I would just build another one out here and then hook up a frame motor to pull it back in. As soon as it's in line with the others, it's part of the system. It's simple as that. So, we've been talking about the next season that we want to do of Blockheads. We want to do something more story-driven. And we are now thinking we actually want to use this server or one very similar to it. We're currently thinking we might go just all out with the Dire Wolf pack with no mm. modifications, or we might add a mod in called Pixel Powers. Pixel Powers gives you different classes, and then you get different abilities based on your class. So, for instance, I am currently... I believe I am the Olympian class. Yes, I am. So, I have the ability to fly, and I also have very limited uh, spells. You can see my spell... Well, okay. I'm currently... <laughs> I'm currently in creative, so in creative mode I have all of the spells available. But normally, let's see here, I'll just so I have to get out of the spell, otherwise it won't let me type. Game mode O. Oh, now you would see that I start off with the mana converter, which converts my mana into experience, and I have time advance, which changes it from day to night or vice versa. Which I want to show you that one real quick because it's really cool. Check this out. Call forth the moon. And it takes a bit of cast time. You can cancel out of this, but then we'll just cancel it, of course. So now we have Call Forth the Moon. Super speed, go! And you can almost hear the Final Fantasy music playing when I do that. And, of course, the ability to fly. We also have Mo Creatures on the server at the moment, so we've got these annoying jackasses, which I'm going to change at some point. Set the time back to day. And me being unable to type, we're going to set us back to creative mode. So yeah, um, we. my next step with this project is to see if I could take something like the face of this mountain over here and like pull this down into the ground and store it without having to 
have space to pull it all straight down. It'll go down a few blocks and then like stack it backwise. That'll be my next step. And we're still talking about blockheads, trying to figure out exactly what we're going to do with it. One way or the other, it's going to... What the hell is this? Oh yeah, that's my airlock. One way or the other, it's going to be... That is really cool looking terrain over there. Who has ADHD? One way or the other, it's going to be based on one of these mod packs. We kind of like the whole technology versus magic thing, which we're thinking about going down those lines. Here's my airlock. It closes and it opens. And what more could you want of an airlock? I don't know if I can... Okay, I can't click it from inside. It doesn't do anything. So yeah, that's... um. We, in this particular version, which is not live on our server yet, we have also included snowstorms. We have also included the Galacticraft mod. We used to be using Magic Eye's Marvelous Moon mod, but there were some compatibility issues between some of our mods, so we're going over to Galacticraft instead. And we have not deployed that out yet. It's probably going to be in about a week or so. But the other big news... Mm is I actually have a standalone server. It's a ProLiant DL180 HP server. It's got two quad-core Xeon processors and 48 gigabytes of RAM, and we have just never been happier to be in Minecraft, let me tell you. For the group I belong to, I also host the Mumble server myself, and I should be hosting a website, but I have been really lazy about getting around to making that said website. So yeah, if you want to see more information on how to build this, I can certainly show that. I mean, what you're looking at here is just covers to hide the wiring. But it uses the red alloy wires, which are great because you can run them along walls and everything. They just automatically connect up to our frame motors here, which you can all see running nice and pretty. And break a few of these too. You see, it's just the same thing over here. The only difference is this one... Sorry, this is the one that puts it out. You'll notice there are two blocks free here, and on this side there's only one block free. And if I go ahead and turn this that way, I can, I'll actually remove one of them so you can see the difference on the other side as well. Just gotta wait for her to go back up then, don't we? Pick that stuff up, that stuff's unsightly. So the, the one thing about red power I don't like is that... Let me get these out of the way. The one thing is, when you're in creative mode, it still drops anything you break. And if you're holding sneak when you play... Oh, right, I left all my covers. Another interesting thing about the frames, if you've got covers and panels on them, they stay behind when you break the frames. Oh, I didn't even need this one here, it looks like, so we've got that covered, so to speak. There we go. So you can see, when it gets up to the top, then this one grabs and pushes that out. But when it's coming back, I've got one at the very top and nothing here. So there's nothing left to try and push it to the left. It's able to just drag it straight down. Which you can see when I flip that. So it'll push that one in there and then just start dragging it straight down. Simple as that. That was a dragonfly, but I don't know where it is. Whatever. So yeah, it's just, as long as you have enough room, it just automatically stacks these, and you're good to go. Alright, so that has been this episode of Block of Tea. We'll see you next time.